What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video today. Yes, I do have a smile on my face and probably the happiest video I'll post in a while or posted in a while. We are your season two finals or, or playoffs champions. It's lit baby, it's dumb lit like Cap would say. And just really happy, you know, just so proud of the squad, the time we put in, the sacrifices we made, you know, playing every day, grinding, while people were just chilling, you know, just making sure we got our scrims in, make sure we got our practice, make sure we were fixing our mistakes, and you know, just so much stress and frustration throughout the team, throughout those days, and it just all paid off. And it's such a great feeling to accomplish something like this, to finally win a championship, because it's been a long time for me, and to win one for a team envious, you know, they haven't won one in a while, so it feels good to bring one home. Like I said, extremely proud of the squad. You know, John was a monster all event. Slasher was a monster all event. I felt like I was a monster all event. JCap was JCap. He did his thing, got the job done, but you know, he played great as well. And we just all showed up and it was just an amazing feeling to win. And before I continue this video, I just wanna say, you know, I had pro players, not just one, not just two, like a couple come up to me and say, dude, you guys really deserve to win the event. You know, like even before we won it, like you guys put in the most time, you guys are probably the most prepared, you guys made the sacrifices, not only at home, but at the event, you know, we were constantly scrimming almost every single day since we got there, we're warming up, we're playing eights, you know, keeping our shot warm, make sure we're like one with the game, and people were just chilling, you know, talking to friends, you know, in the lobby, but we like kept our head on straight and, you know, made sure winning was the number one thing and why we were there. And you know, it just feels good, you know, to put in so much time, put in so much effort, and to get some, to get rewarded back, because that was the whole, that's the whole plan of, you know, putting hard work and time in. But like I said, really proud of the squad. You know, this is going to be a post vlog, so I just wanted to talk a little bit before we we got into the event. So our first match was versus H2K. Now, some I said we had a buy, some I said you know it's an easy first round, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Obviously. They were probably the least prepared team coming to the event. I think they barely practiced at all, and I mean at all. And we are probably the most prepared team going to the event, if not top two, I would say most prepared. So we felt good. Uh, we felt confident. You know, we were going to take it map by map, round by round, hill by hill. You know, not we weren't, like, too worried about this match. Um... You know, other than Fizzer being John's pops, you know, could have got, got a little risky there. But, you know, we just felt confident, man. We felt good. You know, there's a huge chance of us playing LG first round. But, unfortunately, Optic got LG. And I'm thankful I got H2K because I did not want to play H2K first round. I'm pretty sure nobody from the top, for the bottom four seeds wanted to play LG because they're they're the best team. Or, I mean, we'll talk about that later. But, so we played H2K first round. Um, first map, hard point. I believe we won by about 100 points. You know, we just straight dominated as a team. Played very well and consistent. I believe it was breach hard point, and we won first map with a pretty big ease. So we felt good, felt great. Uh, the uplink came up. It was evac uplink. Uh, for the most part, you know, we're winning, we're feeling good. Out of nowhere, during like the second side towards the middle, uh, they started to kind of come back. They're starting to like show up a little bit. You know, where it was getting a little scary. Uh, we had a two point lead, I think, at one point, and it was getting a little, it was getting a little scary. It was getting a little close, but. Uh, we just closed up strong. We won by like four or five points and we won the map. So I felt good. We're up 2-0. You know, it's such a great feeling being in a 2-0 lead. Even though it's a best of seven, but just being in a lead is always a great feeling. You know, that's how we felt pretty much all weekend. And then it went to the SD. We knew the SD was probably the only map they could take against us because they were a strong SD team. I feel like we're a weak SD team and it's at times, you know, we have, we don't play situational, situational plays well. SD came up. It was fringe SD. Um, you know, for the most part, it was back to back, back to back, and then I'll, I'll never forget. It was, I believe, we we're tied two two. Um, Fizzer, we lose like a two v three or something. Fizzer gets an insane two piece on John and Slasher with a pistol. If you guys are watching, you probably remember that round. It was crazy. Slasher had a reload. And John could have finished him in time, so he and Slasher was already weak, so he killed John and then snapped on Slasher with his last person and killed Slasher. It was a huge momentum swing for them. Uh, definitely a big round. I believe he even got full streaks from that. And, you know, it was kind of tough, but going to the next round, it was tough again. Uh, we immediately lose a player. It's a 3v4. I think JCap dies. It's a 2v4. Me and John are alive. 
and I think I I almost killed someone, but I couldn't finish to clean up the kill. He kills me, and then John comes up and I believe trades that kill or like kind of trades that kill. Then gets another kill, and he makes it a two v four. So John's John was in a pretty much he was in a one v four, makes it a two v four before like my bad, my bad. Let me correct that. Makes it a one v two. Jesus, I caught myself slipping there. Makes it a 1v2, ends up clutching the 1v4 to win the round. It was intense, it was crazy, you know, he fucking just, he just played that so well. And that 1v4 was so huge for us because it was such a huge momentum swing. You know, they had that huge round before, and there was a difference between going down 2-4 or tied 3-3, and he just clutched it. And that was so big for us, uh, we, we'd get tied up 3-3. And then it was just trading rounds again, it went 5-5. Uh, John and I clutch a nice 2v3 to, to uh, close the map. It was a pretty close 2v3 though They almost won it, but we managed to close out. So now we're up 3-0 feeling great You know, this is our match. There's no way they're gonna beat us in the next hard point or CTF or they're not, there's no way they're gonna beat us in the next respawn. We're a strong respawn team. We got this It was CTF stronghold. I believe I think we won like 3-1 4-1 something like that. We're a really good CTF team uh, I feel like not many teams know that. Obviously, CTF is only one game mode, so it's not crazy. But, I mean, it's good to be good at trying to be good at everything. So, we ended up winning, I believe, the CTF like 4-1 or 3-1. Uh, just Everyone just played so good. And we won the series 4-0. So, it was a nice little 4-0 to start off. Uh, kind of was expecting it. Like, no, no need, no... Not trying to bash H2K or anything, but like I said, we're just so prepared. We felt like they were the least prepared team. We didn't feel like they were going to be such a, a struggle at all. But we still gave it 110%. We made sure to close out the match. So after that day, we were considered top four. Beating H2K obviously advanced us to... Uh, there was only two matches left we needed to play to win the, the, the tournament. Which is crazy. Uh, Optic lost to Luminosity, which was crazy, crazy match. Like, insane match. You know, I believe it went last map. LG just clutched up. It was crazy. And we knew that with Optic being out, you know... I wanted to play Optic at Grand Finals because I feel like they're the most competitive team and probably the best team right now, but or were the best team because we won. But I just you know we haven't played them yet, and it, it, I just wanted to play them because that's like really where we show our skills. Like yeah, we're probably better than everyone else right now, but Optic because you know Optic are Optic. But you know they got taken out, which really sucks. Single elimination just tournament just sucks, you know. But they got taken out, so we knew with Optic being out, if we beat Ryze or C9 or whoever, if we beat our next round, we had this tournament. You know, I, I I knew, like, Ryze were probably the second best team there. Uh, obviously, a lot of you guys know Ryze is such a strong squad and have had so much recent success. So, with, L, with Optic being out, uh, we knew we we were going to play either Ryze or C9 and then probably LG or FaZe. But the crazy part is, first of all, we played Thursday. We didn't get to play till Sunday afternoon, the, the most boring days of my life coming up to that, that point. But uh, Friday, you know, I woke up early, like 10 a.m. to watch the Rise vs. C9 match. C9 could have won, potentially won, or got like to last map. Uh, just poor situational plays, I thought, in my opinion. Damn you, motorcycle, shut up! Fucking people. But just poor situational plays, uh, just little things they didn't clutch up. They almost made an insane comeback first map. But they ended up going down, I believe, 4-1 to Rise. And, or it might have been 4-0. I, I maybe it was a 4-0. I don't remember. 4-1 or 4-0. I was like, holy shit. So I decided uh, to watch the FaZe, FaZe versus DT match. And DT come out of nowhere and beat FaZe. I don't know if it was last map. I don't know if they went the distance. I don't remember. I think it was last map. Redwood. I think it was SD Redwood. And they won. Or is that against LG? No, LG was hunted. Yeah, I believe they went last match. Last map. And FaZe just, I mean, and DT clutched up. It was insane to see. So we knew that we had to play Rise, and then we were uh, either going to play DT or LG in finals. So Friday, uh, didn't do much. Just like I said, watch the matches. I vlogged a little bit, which I'll be posting that uh, sometime, probably tomorrow or the next day. I got to edit it. Uh, warmed up, scrimmed, you know, didn't do too much. And the crazy part, fun fact, Saturday morning, I woke up sick. I was actually sick. I don't know. I sound a little congested right now. I've been blowing my nose. So I mean, I sound a little better. But I was actually sick Saturday morning with a cold. Uh, it was terrible, man. I, I don't want to go too in-depth with it. But I didn't really say anything too much on Twitter because I didn't, I didn't care for it, right? Like, I just wanted to get better. My, my main priority was just to win no matter what. And I woke up sick. Uh, spent the whole day just drinking a lot of water, like, trying to feel better. 
you know, and it really sucked. Saturday night sleep was pretty awful. Even practice at a certain point was awful because I couldn't just play no more. I was so drained on that day. And, you know, sleep was just, it took me two hours to fall asleep. Kept waking up in the middle of the night, just in, in excruciating pain in my mouth because the nerves with your teeth and my head. And it was just really bad. But, you know, I mean, I slept as much as I can. I believe I probably got like five hours of sleep, something like that, you know, just on and off. And going into Sunday, it kind of sucked because we knew we had a big match on Sunday. Thankfully, I didn't get sick on Sunday, and it was Saturday, so it gave me a day to rest and kind of get better. So that was a, that was really important. So thankfully, the thing for that, but you know, st I was still sick. So going into Saturday, Sunday, uh, we played Rise for our first match. Um, I would say I was at about 80% out of 100, around 80%-ish. Uh, definitely felt better, but still sick. You know, nothing I could really do about that. You know, just make sure I stay hydrated, drinking a lot of, uh, I was drinking an energy drink before our match, you know, just getting pumped, getting energy into my system because when you're sick, you obviously feel drained. So going to our rise match, you know, I was, I, we gave it our all. We went dumb hard, 110% again. Uh, first map, what was it? Um, It was Stronghold Hardpoint. Probably our worst map against dumb or just in general, but we've improved so much throughout, uh, throughout, uh, teaming so we got a lot better on the map. We won stronghold hard point, you know We're feeling good at that point, you know, we feel like like we just beat them in a hard point probably our worst hard point and probably one of their best hard point maps and it felt good So we're up one all the series. We're feeling great. You know, we're feeling confident again uh, Infection uplink uh, It was just back-to-back -back, very head-to-head -head throughout the whole map and you know, we end up t end up tying and then we go to OT, we, we get a dunk within like 45 seconds, and then we won the map after that, you know, we just closed out. That was crazy, that was a close, close, close map, but we managed to clutch up, so that was crazy. We're up 2-0 in the series, so we're like, holy shit, like we got this. SND evac, they beat us at MLG Anaheim on this map. Uh, I played it good at the start, I started making such poor decisions, uh, playing really dumb, just doing the same thing over and over again. And I never slowed down, and it really, I'm not saying we're the only reason why we lost the map, but I am a, I am part of the reason why we lost that map. And it sucks that that happened, but we, we you know, they won 6-4, definitely could have gone our way, but just poor decision making by by myself, by, you know, by me and just my team. I mean, uh, it was it was dumb, but whatever, like, I just, I could have definitely played better that map. So we're, we're still two, up to one. You know, we're like CTF's next. This is such a huge map. This is the difference between going tied 2-2 or going up 3-1 in series and having a two-map uh, lead. So we went hard again. You know, we we're calling out, telling, saying everything. At one point, they had a flag lead. They had a flag lead almost throughout the whole throughout the whole map uh, until like towards the second side, kind of like halfway towards the end. Uh, we started to, I think we tied it. And then when Slack fell off the map, he had a dead slide. I don't know if you guys remember that. And I just, I, I I killed like another guy going for the re and then my teammates pulled out and we capped that and then we're up 3-2. And there was like 45 seconds left. Um, I remember getting a, a pretty big two piece in our base to hold the flag there. And you know, we just, we, just, we clutched up, we won the map. It was really intense, intense, intense ETF. Just back and forth, back and forth again. And we closed out. So that was really, really, really good for us. That was a huge map. And then it went to Stronghold. Um, not strong on hardpoint evac another map i felt like they were a lot better than us on but like i said we've just been practicing fixing our mistakes and we won the hardpoint evac by like by like it was like 50 60 points i don't remember too much but just phenomenal and everyone played so well john was slaying like a monster i was just making plays in the in the hills and just in like for spawns and all these things you know I was just playing really just to win that's all i was doing uh slash was getting big kills Jcap was getting kills. It was really, really well played from our side. And then we won the series 4-1. So after winning that, we're feeling good. You know, we just fucking beat Rise 4-1. Probably the second best team there, or what the second best team there. And, you know, we just felt good. We felt like we could win this event. Like, this is ours. And we just felt confident. We we're all happy. And, you know, we had to wait, though. LG and DT were playing next. We went back to the to the... The pro lounge or the warm-up station and we just sat there for a while obviously dt and lg went to last map during that you know just ate a little bit drank water uh, just kept warming up my team kept warming up we're just there like shooting once in a while you know making sure we stay warm when we knew their match our match was going to come close when they're like last map or second last map we started warming up a little bit more 
But yeah, so LG boozes to DT last map. Killer gets a nice 1v2 to close out. Uh, 6-2, I think. Uh, nice, nice 1v2. And that was crazy, dude. Killer really is like the best SD star. But we were we were playing DT in Grand Finals. We did not ex expect, I'm pretty sure not a lot of you guys expect, DT to be FaZe and LG. That's crazy. They played the Band and Protect system very weird and a lot to into, into their favor. And we knew that from the start since we scrimmed them. Since playing them online, you know, we just knew they play this like weird band protect. They like to ban specialists and hardpoint, you know, get rid of heat wave and kinetic, and then sometimes they'll get rid of the MA and like use HPKs and mana war and all these things. And we kind of knew a little bit already about that. We knew their type of playstyle. So playing the band and protect system was really important, and we we need to make sure you know we kept it as equal as possible. Like it's helping them, but it's helping us at the same time. So we played it, for the most part, we played it really well uh, throughout our match. Uh, we really kept that, you know, Banner for Texas and was like really intense. We're like, all right, they got Heat Wave, uh, we should probably get this. And then, oh, let's forget about tacticals, keep them in. Let's just make sure we ban High Cal Rapid and High Cal Rapid Fire throughout our match, cars, uh, just everything at one point was in. It was a really crazy match, really weird having all these things in. But first match, first map against uh, DT, Grand Finals. You know, it's time to go fucking hard. This is our tournament, baby. We're not losing to DT. I did not come all this way. Waited four days of not playing to get to Sunday. You know, being sick isn't going to stop me. When I was by a DT match, I would say I was about 90%-ish, you know, feeling-wise. feeling, feeling wise. Like, I felt a lot better. You know, I felt, felt, felt a lot more there, a little bit more healthier. So I was like, we're not losing this. This is our fucking match after everything, after everything we've been through and waiting for. You know, we're going to close this out strong and we're going to win this. So... Hardpoint French, uh, I wouldn't say a slaughter, but it kind of was. Uh, John and I just absolutely went off. JCap had a good map. Slash had a good map too. You know, we just we just, we pretty much destroyed them on that map. We won by like a hundred points or at least almost two hundred points, and it was just really good. You know, a lot of confidence, a, a lot of momentum going to second map. Then it was Uplink Breach. Uplink Breach, it was. We lost by a point. I don't, I don't want to bash him because he he knew he didn't play too well, and he you know he said it right after. But slasher, sheesh! Only two kills by halftime. Now nah, it's all good, man. It happens once in a while, you know. When you're mid match, mid grand finals, you're gonna be like, oh, a slasher, dude. Like, what the fuck? Like, get like do better, right? Like, you don't do that type of shit. That's just you just asking your teammate to get pissed and demoralized. But, you know, he had a bad map. It's all good. You know, we lost by point. Imagine if he was doing well, we would have easily won that map. But it, it is what it is. So we end up getting tied 1-1. Next it was s &D. We knew we had it to win this. We knew we had to win this s &D. DT are, are known sometimes for being a really strong s &D team and playing weird. So this was a big map for us. We do not want to go down 1-2 in the series because obviously that gives them a chance to go last map or possibly win. So we did not want to get that. So s &D came up. We ended up winning 6-0 in infection. We played pretty much flawless. We all dropped like 7-8 kills. Just amazing place from all of us. And we closed it out 6-0. So that was a big map. Now we're 2-1 in the series. And went to the CTF next. If you guys watched that shit, I had so many caps. I had like, I think five caps to end it. You know, just making plays in their base, getting a flag out, perfect timing with spawns. I just played it so well. My teammates were just slaying. Slasher, Slasher had a really good game. Uh, Jcap and John did their thing, you know, they were slaying too, getting all the kills. And I, I, I was even slaying myself. But just a crazy game from all of us. We won 8-1, uh, dominant CTF, obviously. Like I said earlier, we're a really good CTF team. So we're up 3-1 in series. At this point, we knew this is our fucking match. You know, we know we're going to close it. We're not losing. And we ended up playing um, Stronghold Hardpoint again. And I believe we only won by like 60, 70 points or something like that. But... You know, we went so hard, uh, just went dumb hard. Rapid Fire was allowed, but I like Rapid Fire. My team played, I guess, well with it because they all went, they all played really well. And we ended up winning a series 4-1, and that was just a great feeling to finally win another championship. Um, didn't really have much trouble throughout the tournament. Obviously, some maps, like I mentioned, were pretty close, but didn't really have too much trouble. Uh, just, you know, going to Amajir Orlando, we need to make sure to keep practicing and keep getting better, fix our little mistakes, and not get complacent at all because, uh, you know, this was a tournament that, it was definitely weird, but, you know, we can't take things lightly just because we won doesn't necessarily mean right now that no, like, 
and come in two weeks, three weeks that a team practices more than us and has a, has a chance of beating us. So we just got to keep that in mind and keep going hard and keep practicing. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been a pretty damn long vlog, but I haven't posted a video in almost a week. I felt like I had to get this out of my chest, had to get this out of my mind to talk to you guys and tell you, you know, what went down and what happened. And I'm just really proud of the squad, man. Really happy with the way they performed. You know, it was just an amazing weekend, amazing week almost, because we were almost there for a whole week. And I just want to say thank you all for the support, for all of you for congratulating me. And, you know, just uh, the support in general was amazing all weekend. You know, after I won, I had like 40, maybe around 40 DMs, you know, congratulating me, other than like, obviously, you guys tweeting me. And I, I just, it's hard to respond to all of you, man. You know, sitting there, responding to every single one of you will probably take me an hour or two. But I just want to say thank you, everyone who supported me, who congratulated me, or who DM'd me, you know, saying congratulations to everything. You guys are amazing, man. I really appreciate it. Things are looking up a little bit better now. And I'm just going to keep going hard, keep practicing, and keep getting better. But thank you again. We did it, baby. We won a championship. This has been your boy, Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you all have a great day. And I'm out. And